Have you ever flown a kite before? Well, if you haven't, or maybe even if you have, have you ever thought about how a kite even stays high up in the sky? Kites fly with something called lift. Lift is when air passes over an obstacle, creating a vacuum that pulls it upward. An example of lift can be seen by blowing over a piece of paper. Hold a piece of paper to your chin and simply blow in a straight line. Each time I blow, it creates that vacuum and lifts the paper. That's what helped keep kites so high up in the sky. Between that lift and tension pulling on your string, you create thrust. And between lift and thrust, it's just like an airplane gliding on the wind. Even you can make a kite. Sled kites are relatively simple. And if you register for our Build a Kite workshop, for $5, you can pick up your kite kit with everything you need. Let's look at how we make one. Each kit will come with everything you need. You'll need string, stickers, two small dowels, two metal rods, and a handle along with your paper kite. The only thing not included is a punch hole for the very edges. The first thing you're gonna do is decorate your kite. Use permanent markers or Sharpies to prevent any ink from running if it gets any moisture on the kite. Once you have your kite decorated, you're gonna insert your metal rods, the long dowels, into the holes sort of in the middle side of your kite, just like that, on both sides. Next, you're gonna take your stickers and you're gonna fold them over the edges of your dowels and the kite to seal and stick your dowel onto the kite. It's easiest to have the sticker on the back side first, put your dowel and hold it down, and fold the tape over your dowel. Do that on both dowels for corners. Next, you're gonna do your edge so it looks just like this. In order to do that, you're gonna take a sticker and on either side of the long dowels at the point, you're gonna do the same thing with your sticker and put a short wooden dowel down on the edge. This will give the hole that you'll attach your string to extra support and prevent your kite from ripping if it ever gets too strong of a wind. This is now where you're going to punch your hole either with a nail or a hole puncher to attach your string. Now you have your holes to attach your strings. Once you have your holes, you're gonna take your long piece of string and you're gonna fold it in half so the ends are about the same. On the folded side of your string, you're going to do a pinch and make a simple knot so that way you have a loop at the end of your string about an inch long. Then you're gonna take each end and tie it to the holes you just made in the corners of your kite. Have an adult help you if you have any troubles tying a knot. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this won't come off. So even triple knotting it to make sure that it doesn't come loose. Now you attach that loop you made in your string at the other end to the string on your handle. And there you go. Now you have an official sled kite. Once you have everything tied securely, you're ready to go flying. Take your kite out on a semi-windy day and have fun. Some helpful tips to get started on your flying adventures. If it's windy enough to fly a kite, you shouldn't have to run to get your kite up in the air. Simply have you or a partner help hold your kite up while you gently provide tension on your kite. If it's windy enough, the wind should provide the lift needed to lift your kite up off the ground. If it's not quite windy enough, but still somewhat windy, especially at the tops of the trees, you should be able to get your kite up by just running a short distance. 
And remember, never go flying your kite if it's storming outside. Rain and possible lightning are very dangerous to kite flyers. So just wait out the storm and wait for a better day. And if you need to bring your kite down because it's time to head home, all you need to do is simply walk your kite down along the string. Have fun. And don't worry, every kit will come with instructions as well. Just make sure you register online at majesticviewnc.org.